Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to add an image to a PyPT5 application. Now, the reason I'm teaching you this is because adding an image to PyPT5 may sometimes be a bit confusing to beginners or a bit sort of misleading. And you'll understand what I mean once I show you how this is really done. Now, I will be showing you two things in this tutorial. The first thing will be how to add an existing image to your PyPT5 application. So for example here, rather than having a push button, we would have a full size image right here. And the second thing I will be teaching you is how to add an image when prompted with a button, or maybe you can adapt this to a prompted with any other type of UI element. So what I mean by this is once I press this push button right here, I'm going to get the Python logo as an image showed up into my application. And this is really what this tutorial is all about. So dealing with images in PyQt5. All right, so let's get started. Let's see how this is done and let's perform these two different actions. So before we get started, let me just give you a brief overview of everything that we have in front of us. So right here, I have the add image tutorial.py file. This is a Python file, which we will be using to run our application. Now, this Python file will be talking to this .ui file over here. So this .ui file is actually a just a normal XML file that PyPT5 uses or defines in order to be able to create these graphical user interfaces. Now, the way we will be creating this is not by writing XML, but by using the PyPT5 Qt Designer program, which enables us to create these UIs by dragging and dropping different elements onto the screen just like you saw me do right now. All right, so other than the py file and the UI file, I have a PNG file, which is just a simple Python logo. Now this is just a standard transparent Python logo. I got this off the internet, off of Google. I will write down the resource in the description so that I'm not taking anyone else's logo for myself, so I did not design it. And yeah, so that's really it for the files that we have to work with. Now, what does our current application look like? Now, running our current application, okay, so we just have this label right here. So this label says add image to PyQt5 tutorial. And this label was created right here. And there is nothing else. So there are no other elements. There is no image. There is nothing else. So going back to the code, just a brief explanation of the code that we have right here and what it does. So these are our imports. Now, I don't want you to concern yourself, yourself too much with them. Most um, text editors attached with a certain extension or, um, or an IDE would help you automatically figure these imports out. But you know, any, any class you use in PyPT5, make sure you always import it. You will always need the Qt widgets and you'll always need a Q dialog, Q application and Q widget to be able to launch your application. The other thing is this pyqt5.uic, where we import the load UI function. This function is what enables us to have the .ui file of pyqt5 Qt designer talk to this Python file and be able to sort of import it and load this UI and use it in the Python code. Now, the next thing we have is before I actually look at the class is this part right here. So this is the part we need to execute the application. We create a queue application and take our command line arguments right here. Then we create our main window class. Now this class will be representing this main window guy. So this window you see right here will be represented by the class. And then the rest of this is basically just adding this main window to a widget and then setting the widget height width and making the widget show up. And then we execute our application. So this was just a brief overview of everything related to PyQt5 and Qt Designer in case you are still just a beginner and you're getting used to this whole environment. Now the classes, in this case, each class will represent a um, widget or a part. It, it does represent the widget or what you see as a screen. Now this class contains a constructor. The constructor will load this guy right here and then it will load the UI from the using the load UI function that we imported from the .ui file. Once it loads this UI, it enables us to access the different UI elements in this UI using class variables. Now, what I mean by this, you'll see it in a second because we will be using it ourselves in fact. So that's really it for explaining the code. Now, of course, you want to see how we add the images. 
Now, to add the images, let's go back to Qt Designer. I will show you the first way. The first way, we said we're going to add a fixed image that already exists in our PyQt5 application before we really do anything. So to add an image, here's what you have to do. You actually have to look for something called the label. Now, you are familiar with labels probably. You use a label to write things like this guy right here. So we just write static text, okay? You write static text on your screen and this is part of your application. But in PyQt5, you will be using this label actually to add an image. Now, how do you do this? Let me just select the label over here. You right click on the label and you press change rich text. Now, this is actually a rich text editor, which enables you to change your text in all sorts of ways. You can make it bold, change the font size and all sorts of different things. So another option you have in this rich text editor is to actually insert an image. So this is what we are interested in. So you open this and I believe maybe some of you have reached this point, but maybe gotten confused as to what to do next. And that's totally fine. That's perfectly normal. It is a bit confusing and a bit kind of specific to buy TD5. So what is this resource root? What is going on? And what is this small box right here telling me? So it's telling me I need to add a resource. An image in PyQt5 is essentially a resource. It is something you add to your application, which is represented as a resource. To add this resource, what you need to do is you press on this guy right here, which opens up yet another box. Now, what does this box do? It enables you to edit your resources. So what we're going to do is we're going to come here and we're going to create a new resource file. So you, you might ask me here like, okay, but we already have our Python logo.png file, isn't that our resource? No, we need a, a PyQt5 resource file, which is what we have right here. So this .qrc, this is the file type, and it's prompting us to create this file. So this is my working directory. This is my project area where my files are saved. So let's create this logo.qrc. So we will save this, and now we have a resource. Now that we have a resource, we need to add a prefix and a path to the resource. So you want to maybe look at this part right here, which says add files. You cannot add a file without creating a prefix first. This is because of the internal XML structure that comes with PyTD5 that they sort of force you to follow. So you press on this guy right here, you add a prefix. Now you can make this be anything you want. So you can even leave it as new prefix, this is totally fine. The goal is to add a file, right? So we press add files. And now we can see our files actually. So we can see here we have our Python logo PNG file and we add it right here. And now that we've added it, all right, so this seems fine. So we have a resource, we have a prefix and we have our file. So I press okay and I press okay. So my resource is here. Now my rich, rich text editor shows me that, that my label text has an image now. So I press okay. Now here you might be thinking, okay, what is this? I don't see anything. That doesn't that obviously doesn't work. Well, the reason is you just have to stretch this guy out a little and make the label big enough to fit your image. All right. So this is our image and we have added it to our PyTG5. And basically that is how we added a fixed image to our PyTG5. Now, the next thing we wanted to do, we wanted to add an image prompted by a button. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start coding part two of this tutorial by first deleting this and adding a new button. So now I just added a push button and my goal essentially is for me to press on this button and open up a brand new image and display it right here on this part of the screen. So how are we going to do this? So the way we're going to do this is actually by a method that involves also using a label. However, this time this label will be blank. So there will be no text in this label. It will be right here. It will be blank. And similar to what we did before, we need to accommodate for the potential size of the image by stretching out the label guy like this. So making sure our image will fit here and we give our label a name. So now I'm just going to give this label a name. So image label. All right, so now I have added everything to my UI and what I want to do is essentially go back to the code because coming back here, 
if I run this code, so let's just run this, I have a button that doesn't really do anything. So what do I want to do in this case? What I want to do is simply go here and create a handler in case the button is clicked. The way we do this in PyQt5, as you probably already know, is you say self dot button. So depending on the button that was clicked, and this button is actually not named button, so let's actually name it button so that we know. Okay. And then we go back. Okay. So we go back here and we just say clicked. So when the button is clicked, we connect and we connect to a certain function that we define ourselves. So self dot add image. So this function will be tied to this main window class and I'm just going to say def add image. So create this, make this a, um, make this a function for this specific class. And then what I'm going to do in this function is here, I'm going to add the image. So how do I add the image in PyQt5? There are two steps for me to add the image. The first step is to create a QPix map. So a QPix map. What is a QPix map? It's actually a way for us to load the image for PyQt5. So we do this by saving it in a variable. So let's say QPix map or anything you want to call it. And we open up the parentheses here and we give it the name of our image, so python logo.png. Now, the next thing we do, the second step, is to take this pixmap and put it in our label, right? So we already created a label for this, a placeholder label, this empty guy right here, who is called img label. So we go back here and we say self.imglabel.set pixmap to pixmap the variable, cubic map actually, the variable. All right, so now we said load this image and put it in this label. So let me run this app now again, and I will press the push button and it crashed. Now, why did it crash? Because obviously I made a very silly mistake. The silly mistake being that I did not import the cubic map. So to import the cubic map, all you need to do is you just from pyqt5.qt GUI or GUI import qpix map. All right, so qpix map is actually not a part of the uh, qt widget imports, so it's its own import inside the qt GUI. So, very common mistake. Now let's run again and press this button. And here we go, we have our image, it has shown up using this code that we wrote right here. So that's it for today's tutorial. I hope it was useful and I hope you managed to learn a thing or two about images in PyQt5, how to add images using labels and how to do so prompted from a button throughout the code. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Please don't forget to leave a comment and like the video. Thank you so much and bye bye.